adventurers. It is about 5 a.m. We just got off of our flight from Boston to here in Reykjavik, and we're about to board our flight to London. This has been pretty much the longest travel day we have ever had. <laughs> Yeah, and we didn't get to sleep on the plane at all, so we are completely running on fumes at this point. I don't know if we look as as bad as I feel, but <laughs> I feel pretty bad at this point. It's really gross. So we still have a whole... We have a three-hour flight to London, then we have to hop a train down to Luz. And the reason we're going down there is, uh, if you haven't been following the vlogs, we're going to Travel Summit that Louis Cole is putting on, aka Fun for Louis. Uh, if you haven't heard of him, go check him out. But we're going to be arriving at the location where the summit is happening over the weekend later today. <sighs> we're and we're hoping we can get some sleep when we get there and get yeah. refreshed. We're probably going to have to crash out the minute we get there because it's going to be kind of early evening and I think we're going to feel like crap. Yeah. But. We might have planned this for like, so we wanted to be like the top shape for the weekend. But. Yeah. All right, let's fly. Holy cow, it got really rainy out here. This is nasty. <laughs> Jeez. We've been trapped on this bus for about 10 minutes now, and the heat is blaring. We are burning up. I think they're trying to sweat us out. This plane is called Freya, the Nordic goddess of love. I'm really not feeling that tired. I'm not sure if I should try to sleep or try to just edit a vlog or get some work done or something. I don't know. That might be a bad idea. I don't know. I can't decide. I might not be that tired, but my brain is definitely not functioning at full capacity. I do have a really bad headache, though. I need to fly with some headache medicine. Landed at Gatwick, and of course, there's a gigantic customs line. That sucks. We found Allison's bag really quick, but it's completely soaked. I guess they just left it in the rain. <laughs> so we just made it through customs. We got kind of grilled this time for some reason. The guy was really suspicious of us, so we had to show him all of our travel plans and everything. He asked how much balance we have on our credit card. We found it really strange, but yeah. anyway, now we're trying to, we were gonna take the train down to Luz where the conference is, but uh, it turns out that the train is probably not a good idea because they've been having a lot of strikes around here. Um, so, we're going to maybe look for the National Express bus, which is supposed to be somewhere over here. I see the word express up there, so I don't know if that's it. So we thought we were in the line for the train, or for the bus, but apparently it was the train. And she said it should be alright, so... I guess we're taking the train, I don't know. It all happened so fast. We caught the train and it doesn't seem like there are any delays. So, I don't know, all is well. But we've inspected Allison's bag and it got completely soaked by the um, uh, WOW air baggage handlers and it's got dirt all over it. Yeah, Look at this, this bag is brand new. Like I don't dirt. know if you guys can really tell, but like it's got dirt all here, dirt here. And all around here. A strip of dirt here. It's completely soaked, like her clothes are soaked inside. Yeah. Like, it sucks. I have the rain cover in the pocket, but I never thought I'd need to put it on for. I mean, I paid so much money to check that. Yeah. Um, so annoying. I gotta tell you, between like the surprise baggage fee and then mishandling the bags, like I'm done with Wow Air. I'm gonna. We're gonna try to steer clear of them if we can. Okay, I think we've got the rest of our travel to figure it out. We managed to get a uh, both a train and a bus ticket, so we're gonna go over to Luz. We're in right now, we're gonna go over to Luz. Then we're going to go south to southeast, and then we're gonna walk a little bit over to where the LTA summit is. <laughs> Finally, this day will be over, and we're probably gonna crash out as soon as we get there. All right, guys, home stretch. This should be our bus. 
Oh, I'm assuming it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> she can't fit through the hallway. Hey, well, what you guys just missed is Eric got smashed in the, the exit. The turnstile thing. It literally like crushed my bag. It got his bag. bag right here and he couldn't go through. I had to lift The guy was like, can you get out of there? And I'm like, I can't. I just can't. By the way, we also realized that we have been pronouncing the name of the city we were just in incorrectly. It's actually Lewis. <laughs> we know because the little robot on the tram said it. And we were like, <laughs> I trust the robot. The bus ended up dropping us a little bit further away than I had anticipated. So we have a bit of a, about a 12 minute walk. But the place we're staying, staying in is called YHA and they have hostels all over England. But this one is properly in the middle of nowhere. It's near the town called Southies and it's somewhere down this path, so hopefully we find it. This is a really cool spot. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Wish I could enjoy it more, but my back is killing me at this point. So we've made it to the hostel, but uh... They don't check in until 3 and it's like 2.15, so we just came to the restaurant to get a little spot of tea. Also, Allison said I look really exhausted. What do you guys think? <laughs> do I look like I've been traveling for 24 hours? <laughs> I feel like I look like that. <laughs> Check it out, we're in this tiny little room. We got a couple bunk beds. Look at Pretty sweet. Joke. Oh, I thought we were gonna be in a room with a bunch of people, so I was like kind of well, mentally prepared to like. This room is, is us, but then <clears throat> the rest of the weekend it's gonna be with I other people. We'll be with other people. So, oh, but we can like relax yeah. in here and not have to be on for a little bit. Get up! The bag is more comfortable than our previous bag, but it is still a lot of weight to carry around yeah. for an entire day. Whew. Um, top or bottom, that is the question. Are you back in summer camp now? I don't know. What do you want? I don't know either. Well, the top's pretty fun. Okay, take the top. I'm taking the top! Woo! We were debating whether we should crash out for a few hours before dinner. We decided not to. We decided the best thing is probably just to stay up and then try to sleep for like eight to ten hours or something. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't backfire on us and we wake up at like 2 a.m. Yeah. That After is like four hours very of sleep. possible that that will happen. <laughs> but I figured um, I was going to wait till tomorrow, but since we have some time, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of this place. Guys, this place is like Instagram heaven. Trying to get a nice little shot. Oh, yeah. Is this casual? Super cash. Check this place out. That is pretty cool. At this hostel, they have this row of these tiny houses. I don't think they're heated though, so I don't know if anyone's gonna be staying in them. We've just been hanging, working in the lounge area for the last few hours, fighting the urge to just pass out. We actually got a couple of beers, or actually I got some cider, which is probably a mistake. <laughs> but, but they tasted good. Yeah, they were awesome, but now it's dinner time, so we're gonna head to the little cafe that they have, grab a bite, and then we're gonna crash out for sure. We got our lanyards. We're legit. Yeah, we, um, we've been, yeah, lots of things, so, um, yeah. So, sure. Everyone else got the pineapple upside down cake. And check out this gigantic pitcher of custard. It's all for Eric. We've all, all decided I have to drink all of it. it. It's kind of like, like eggnog. I don't know how much you put on there. To the extreme. Maybe probably not that much, I guess. That sounds good. All right, perfect. We're back in our humble little room. Dinner was amazing, although. Oh I'm, that jet lag like hit me. I got like nauseous for a hot minute there and I was like, oh God, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. But I got over it and now we are gonna hit the hay. It is literally like 28 hours I think that we've been awake. Can you believe that? 20, like, almost 29 now. But crazy. it's like a little past eight at this point. So it's properly evening yeah. time. So I think we're gonna 
Yeah. Go to bed and call but it quits. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog because it's going to be cool. It's going to be the first day of the summit. And I think I'm going to try... I'm assuming we're going to get up early because we're so jet lagged. Yeah. But I'm going to try to pop the drone up first thing because... That little stroll we did earlier was just absolutely amazing. The scenery looked awesome. And I think from so above, great. it's going to be great. Yeah. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.